that guy hiding in there. You get over here. Oh, he's so ready, I broke him in half. Oh no. Hey guys, welcome back. Today I want to talk about strawberries. Specifically, pruning your strawberries to maximize yield. Now, I also want to talk about growing strawberries from runners. Now, as you'll see in this video, growing strawberries from runners goes hand in hand with pruning the mother plants. So, in the world of strawberries, there's two different kinds. There's everbearing, um, which give fruit sort of throughout the growing season. Um, here in South Vancouver Island, that would be, you know, probably late March, early April, all the way to October sometimes. And then you have the June bearing strawberries. Um, and, you know, it could be, it could be any month. It could be May, June, or July. Um, and they give fruit all at once. So regardless of which type of strawberry you grow, almost all varieties of strawberries will send out stolons. Now stolons, the common name for these is called runners. Now these runners are adventitious little shoots that crawl away from the mother plant on long stems and set out to become new plants themselves. Okay guys, we made it to the strawberry beds, finally. Let's get to the meat of the video. Um, so here we go. Uh, please excuse the weeds. I don't really weed my strawberry beds. Uh, strawberries are a pretty vigorous plant. They're a ground cover. Um, you know, the, the bigger clumps of grass and whatnot, I'll try and keep in check. But for the most part, the strawberry beds take care of themselves. So I'll just quickly show you a couple examples of runners. Um, one that is ready to clip off and one that isn't ready to clip off. So here's a classic example of a strawberry runner that needs to come off the mother plant. So you can see it's already flowering. Um, I will probably cut these flowers off because I want this I want this runner to grow into a huge plant as fast as possible. If you look down below, you see it's already got some roots coming. Sorry for the focus, but there you go, two little white roots coming out. So that's going to make this guy very easy to plant. And if you go over beside him, you got this little guy. Now this little guy, he's got a couple of root nodules on the bottom, but you know, I give him another week or two. You know, let him grow a bit bigger. I like to have a 100% success rate when I plant these runners. So um, I'm pretty sure this guy would live, but why not give it another week and, uh, and you know, be totally positive. If you are saving your runners uh, to pot up, um, here's the tools that you will need, uh, especially on a warm day like this. I've got my tray uh, and a pair of scissors, but I've also got a wet paper towel or wet newspaper. You want to get those roots, um, if they've started, into some damp material right away. Because as soon as you cut that stolen off, that's their lifeblood to the mother plant. They'll have no more water or nutrients going to them. Let's go ahead and uh, clip one of these guys off. Okay. There we go. Now you can see on the left side there, this plant is so advanced itself, it has its own runner coming off of it. Now that runner is pretty small. I'm just going to go ahead and cut that off. And I'm going to cut the stem to about an inch and a half to two inches. Now this will give us a planting anchor when we put it into the pot. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get rid of the runners off the rest of this bed. Possibly pick a couple strawberries while I'm at it. And then I'll see you back at the greenhouse to pot them up. Okay guys, we're back inside my messy greenhouse. Gotta keep this short, it's starting to get hot in here, so uh, yeah, I don't wanna I don't wanna be stuck in here too long. So I got my pots here ready for all of the strawberry runners. Um, There's your standard nursery four-inch pot. 
filled with regular uh, potting mix. It's quite a light and fluffy mix. Um, I'd say probably 70% um, peat, peat moss, sphagnum moss. Um, coconut fiber also works. All right, so just let me show you uh, potting one of these guys up. Now you don't need to dip these guys in rooting hormone or anything. Uh, strawberries are just like weeds. They will grow and grow and grow. So uh, don't worry about any of that sort of stuff. So you just want to use that stem as an anchor because you can't plant these guys deep. If you bury the crown, they'll rot. So you use that stem as an anchor. Just lightly put it in the top there. Now you got that two inch stem sticking in there. It's going to hold it in place. And that's it. There you go. Strawberry plant. I'll probably nip these flower buds off and then we'll get the rest of this tray potted up with the rest of the runners. So guys, <clears throat> just a couple of last points on, on the strawberries. Um, hey. If you don't need the runners, if you're not expanding your strawberry collection, cut them as they come off. Don't let them grow. Don't let them take energy from the mother plant. Just keep cutting, keep cutting uh, as soon as you see them. If you are, however, saving the runners to grow more strawberry plants, either for sale or for yourself, definitely cut them off uh, in the early summer. That way you can grow those plants fast enough to get fruit the very next season. Now this is especially important if you are growing those strawberry plants, you know, for sale on your farm stand um, or, or for sale with your other starter plants because You'll, you'll notice in your local listings, you'll see little two inch and three inch pots of strawberry plants going for a buck a piece. Well, you know, given the time and the soil and the, and the effort, who, who's making money at a buck a plant? No thing. What are you doing? Nobody's making money at a buck a plant. So when they come to your farm stand and your plants are in gallon pots are bigger they already have strawberries on them people can envision these these pots on their deck on their patio wherever already producing strawberries and they'll pay five six ten bucks a pot so just because you harvest them a few months earlier could give you a leg up the next season all right guys thanks for joining me today um pretty much just one takeaway from this video and that's when you cut your strawberry runners do it in the early summer you know do it as as soon as they're ready to uh to be replanted um if you want to replant them if you don't want to replant them if you're full of strawberries just cut them as they come cut them all the time because um, your mother plant will uh thank you for it but be known uh, strawberry plants you know even the good ones only last about four or five years so you will need to hold back runners if you like that variety uh, to start a new mother plant. So thanks for sticking through to the end. Uh, leave a comment down below if you got any other tips or tricks on strawberry growing. Uh, hit subscribe if you like what you see. And yeah, as always, continue the discussion. And I'll see you next time. You know, puppy, make it super hard to film. <laughs> Ouch. What the heck was that?